Hey guys, as promised, I'm going to go through some of my top lures for 2017. First up is this guy right here. This is an Adams crankbait. Runs about three to five feet deep. Uh, and I've banged this thing through rock, wood. It's remarkably snag resistant. I've caught hundreds and hundreds of bass, catfish, even walleye on this particular crankbait right here. And it's held up all year. Paint, as you can see, is in great shape. It's got black nickel hooks that don't rust. Uh, April through late summer, this really delivered well. This color here is called Stone Cat. It's one of my favorite colors. It's great for clear to stained water. The second color that I've used a lot is called Dirty Water Devil, and it's just for that, stained to muddy water. If you're going out for river smallmouth, you definitely want to try these guys out. Another one of my top lures for 2017 is the Lucky Craft Pointer 78. It's interesting how patterns can change from year to year. Last year I fished the Pointer 100 almost exclusively, but this year downsizing to the 78 really paid off. This lure is deadly in colder water temps, 36 to 50 degrees roughly. As with any jerkbait, the pause is really the key. Sometimes at these colder temps it really takes no different than dead sticking to soft plastic. It's a really long pause. Two colors that I really like a lot. This is the Bone Blue. Uh, as you can see, it's caught a lot of fish. Another color that I like a lot is the Aurora Perch. And I've done really well in stained to muddy water. So when you're heading out this spring, definitely want to take some of these guys out with you. So third on my list for top lures of 2017 is the Storm GT360. This bait really shined spring through fall. It's very simple, straight throw it out, simple retrieve, slow retrieve back in. It's got a small rattle in the head. And this lure was great for tough bite days. When fish were short striking crankbaits, spinner baits, a little more soft, subtle action of this really came through and delivered for a lot of fish. It's also a great bait if you're taking your kids out. Single hook, it's not as dangerous as swinging some trebles around, uh, and it's real simple and easy to use. Uh, colors I really like, and I gotta be honest, I didn't get too creative. I fished Smelt and Houdini. Really didn't have to go anywhere else as far as colors. So, going out this will definitely produce for you for some river smallmouth. Another one of my top lures for 2017 is the Lucky Craft LV RTO lipless crankbait. I know this is my second Lucky Craft lure but I am not sponsored by Lucky Craft. One of the things I love about fishing rivers is the constant changes in river level and water clarity. And this lure is excellent for high and muddy water. It's got a super loud rattle, which you should be able to hear. Um, so it really allows the fish to key in on its location from that sound and vibration. Uh, I love to use this with a stop and go retrieve while I'm out on the water. And I'm going to point out one color in particular that I use a lot of, tons of use on this, that's the T.O. Gill. So a lot of guys shy away from the high and muddy water conditions, but with this lure, it's worth giving it a shot. Next on my list for top river smallmouth bait 2017 is a top water, like should be on everybody's list. And that's the Whopper Plopper 90. I know everyone's heard the buzz on this lure, and if you haven't tried it, you owe it to yourself to do it. Uh, smallmouth absolutely hate this bait. Uh, you get some of the most explosive blow ups on this. A lot of fun to fish. Uh, I will fish this from May through November. It will be on my deck every day that I'm out and I will throw it every day out. Uh, don't discount trying to throw this on bright sunny days. I've had days where I've caught them all afternoon in the middle of summer on this lure. Although I'm not convinced lure color makes a big difference for top waters. Maybe it does because I use the monkey butt and the river perch. Definitely worth giving it a shot. The next bait on my list for top producing lures in 2017, and probably my favorite way to fish, is the spinner bait. I use a brand called Snaggler Tackle. They're designed for fishing current for river smallmouth. 
River smallmouth will absolutely destroy these to the point that it feels like it's going to rip the rod out of your hands. So I have this tied on the deck of my boat uh, from 45 degrees in the spring till down to 40 degrees in the fall. I slow roll and burn them. Uh, skirt and blade color and shape make a big difference. Uh, so I have a number of colors that I love to use, just a couple of them. Uh, this is an upper snag remover, turtleback blades. It's great for stained to muddy water. Another one I love to use is called Roadkill River Craw. It's great for clear water and burning in the summertime. These baits have produced a huge number of fish and huge fish for me this year. Another one of my top producers for 2017 actually isn't a lure, uh, but it's been a key component to a lot of the fishing that I do. That's the Seaguar and Vizex fluorocarbon. Uh, the rest of my list happens to be finesse presentations, and this fluorocarbon is a huge part of that. Uh, it handles so much like monofilament, but it's extremely sensitive. It's great for detecting light bites, fishing cold water, post front, or any time the bite is tough. Uh, but I love it so much, I'm actually fishing it year-round on pretty much all my finesse applications now. Uh, I know braid to a liter is the most sensitive, but fishing shallow rocky rivers and getting snagged dozens and dozens of times a day, uh, it's a huge time saver just being able to tie direct right to the fluorocarbon and not have to mess with a liter. Next on my list for top producing lures for 2017 is the Case Magic Stick. Uh, as much as I love to power fish topwater spinner baits, there's a lot of days that the fish just aren't willing to cooperate and you have to go finesse. Uh, I will fish a magic stick pretty much year round outside of the coldest water temp days that I'm out. I like to fish these two different ways. One is a simple wacky rig. I like the four inch stick worms. And the second method is actually a way I got turned on to from the owner of Anglers Express is the owner shaky head. Both these techniques uh, are relatively snag free and weedless, uh, which is a big plus for fishing these shallow rocky rivers. So if you're heading out this year, you definitely want to have these in your boat. They will pay off. Next on my list for top producing lures this year is the Kytec Swing Impact 3.5 inch swim bait. This bait really excels on the toughest bite days and that's primarily when I fish it. Uh, I don't know what they put in this plastic but uh, the fish cannot resist. I will fish this very simply on an STC ball head with a sickle hook and I fish it just like I will a tube or another jig. I'm not swimming it. Uh, it slow hops and drags along the bottom. So when your toughest day is out, you want to have this Kytec. You can't beat it. It's a soft plastic. They'll go through quick. But when you want to put fish in the boat, you can count on this. Last on my list for top producing lures in 2017 for river smallmouth are campground special tubes. These tubes are my absolute go-to and confidence bait and put more fish in my boat every year than any other lure. Uh, and it's not just small fish, even though these are small size, two and three quarter inch teaser size tubes. Uh, but I catch plenty of big fish on these as well. Uh, in my opinion, there's simply no better bait for river smallmouth than to fish a tube. These are two colors that I use primarily. This is called a KP Purple. This is Purple Crawl, and I fish them both on a snaggler tackle, tube head, with a sickle hook, black nickel. If I had one bait to go in the river with to catch fish, this would be it. You'll want to take these with you.